Hi, Tom here and welcome to Circle Line Art School. This week I'll show you one way to draw a room in one point perspective, 221B Baker Street, based on the apartment of Sherlock Holmes. For this drawing, the first step is to draw a vanishing point in the center of your drawing. Next, we can draw diagonal lines from each of the corners of your drawing going towards this vanishing point in the center. In one point perspective, all parallel receding lines will look like they meet at a vanishing point. And because it's one point perspective, we just have one vanishing point. And generally speaking, it's best to put the one vanishing point in the center of the drawing. Next, we can draw a rectangle for the back of the wall of the room. And this rectangle needs to touch each of the receding lines going to the vanishing point. And the vertical lines need to stay vertical and the horizontal lines stay horizontal. So for the drawing that I'm doing, I have a rectangle and then another rectangle of the same proportion deeper inside it. Next, we can draw a horizontal line slightly below the back wall. And then using the vanishing point, we can draw two lines which are receding away from us so that we have a rectangle in one point perspective in the foreground. And this we can say is a carpet. Now on the left hand side, we could draw a door. So to do that, we need a receding line going to the vanishing point for the top of the door. Then we need two lines which are vertical and parallel to the other lines in the drawing. And then this will be our door frame. So we have a door frame on the left of the room. The door frame can have a thickness by drawing two short horizontal lines to the left and then joining them up. We can see the underneath of the top of the door frame and to find that line we can use the vanishing point to get the right angle for that line. Next we can extend the back of the wall to the left between the space of the door frame and that will create another room on the left hand side of the drawing. Now, because this is 221B Baker Street, there's a nice fireplace in the middle of the wall that we're looking at. So to do this, we can draw two vertical lines, which are slightly taller than the back of the wall of the room, because the fireplace is slightly nearer to us. And then we can cap it off with two horizontal lines at the top and the bottom. And then we can continue the horizontal line on the left and the right. And then by adding some vertical lines to these two horizontal lines, then we can make a recess either side of the fireplace. So we're bringing parts of the back wall forwards by making them taller at the top and the bottom. And then adding vertical lines. Now at this stage, you might find there are too many lines, so we can just erase some of the lines that we no longer need, some of the guidelines that we no longer need. Next, we can add the receding lines to the recess of the room and using the vanishing point, to draw the precise angle of how these lines recede and travel away from us. And then we can just join them up again with a vertical line. And then we can repeat that on the other side of the room as well. So now we have the basic structure of 221B Baker Street. 
he could add a window on the right hand side. There are two windows in the apartment room, but we can just see one of them in the view that we're using. So we just need two vertical lines on the right hand side. And again, we're using the vanishing point for all receding lines. So we can find the angle of how this line recedes away from us in one point perspective. For the next step, we can add some chairs in the foreground, and then I'll add some tonal values and some details to this room. If you'd like to watch a full narrated version of this drawing, I'll post it onto my online drawing course, How to Draw from Scratch. If you'd like to learn to draw from scratch, how to add tonal values to a drawing, how to draw the basic shapes first and the details second, how to draw a straight line freehand. If you'd like an online course where you can learn the basics of how to draw, then please consider joining my online course, How to Draw from Scratch. Within the course, you can post me your own drawings and ask me questions. For more information, please visit circlelineartschool.com.
Thank you very much for watching this video. I post a new video each week. Please subscribe to Circle Line Art School and click the bell to keep up to date.